Here, we want to analyze a continuous beam using the displacement method. The beam is resting on a pin and two rollers, so it has three degrees of freedom, rotation at A, rotation at B, and rotation at C. To begin the analysis, we need to write the equilibrium equations for each beam segment in matrix form. Segment AB is not subjected to any loads, so its equilibrium equations are If we substitute 4 for L, we get Since segment BC is carrying a concentrated load, we need to know the fixed end forces due to that load. They are Now we can write the member equilibrium equations, like this. Let's simplify these equations a bit. Knowing that delta A equals to delta B equals to delta C equals to zero, we rewrite the equations as Now we can turn our attention to joint equilibrium equations. We have three of them. Here they are. To write the first equation in matrix form, we need MAB in matrix form. It is So our equilibrium equation becomes It can also be written like this. Here is the second equilibrium equation. It is defined in terms of MBA and MBC. They are So the equilibrium equation can be written like this. The third equilibrium equation needs to be written in terms of MCB. Here is MCB, and here is the equilibrium equation. Putting the three equations together, we get this system of equations in matrix form. Solving the system, we get the solution vector. It contains the values for the unknown joint rotations. If we substitute them in our member equations, we get member end forces. Here they are for member AB. And here they are for member BC. Knowing member end forces, we can easily determine the support reactions.